There we go. Plug some power in. Oh, ooh, look at that mess. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our second ever live. This is cool, hey? Now you get to see the messy side of my garage. Um, can you guys hear me? I can see the comments, so throw it in the comments if you can hear me. Please just give me a thumbs up. Just gonna give it a little bit of time for people to get on and yeah, we need to uh, have some lights to give away. So if you guys can hear me, write in the comments, please. Can you hear and see me? Joe, how are you? I need two seconds, guys. I just got to grab the set of lights that we're going to give away from the mezzanine. You can hear me perfect. Thank you. All righty. I'm back here. Just grab the ladder. Grab that stuff. There we go. All right. There it is. Perfect. Okay, guys, thanks for hopping on. I can see all the comments. That's awesome. I'm on my wife's laptop, so it's a little bit different than how I did this last time because I was using my phone. So that's how things are going. Um, okay, so a couple things. Thanks, guys, for hopping on. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, just throw them in the comment section, and I will try my best to reply to them. So just to give you a shot of what's going on here, we've got a couple of projects that are popping up into the queue very soon. So probably the next video, actually I know the next video that's coming out tomorrow morning is the smoke system install, which is on the diamond way in the back there, three planes over. We've got the Excalibur we've been working on over the weekend and over Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys, by the way. And happy Boxing Day to you. Uh, the Excalibur is in progress. We've got new gear in there. We're working on reorganizing things, so that's good. And we've also got a Super Scorpion right there. And we're doing some fun things on the Super Scorpion. Nothing too in-depth, but we will be doing some work on the Super Scorpion to make it better because there's been some issues with it. The owner has had some issues with the Super Scorpion. So... Merry Christmas, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to this live thing. Um, the first thing I wanted to cover, this is going to be a little bit difficult because we're using the camera on the, <laughs> looks like your basement. Yeah, no kidding. And you know what? Before we get into this, if you guys aren't watching my house build, it's on my other channel. It's just called The Lighter Side. Um, I am so excited. It's probably going to be to like mid mid um, next year like July before we're actually done. But I'm really excited about that new workshop space. It's going to be so much more clean. It's going to have way more room. It's going to be awesome. So looking forward to that. Anyways, guys, some of you were asking about my vacuum form that I did to create the lenses for the diamond. Um, I, I Honestly, I, I recorded some video on this stuff, and I was going to put it in the diamond video, the, the light video, but that video ended up being like 12 minutes longer than I was comfortable with. It would have been like a 50 minute video. So uh, I would have been pretty crazy. Hey guys, hey Victor, Chad. So basically this is the vacuum forming machine that I came up with. This cost me absolutely nothing to make. All these supplies were just sitting in my garage. Okay. So all it is is some quarter inch MDF board on the top and the bottom. Um, I used some one by fours that I had obviously sitting around for the base. Okay. And my actual dimensions on this, I think, are eight inches. Seven inches is the size. So it's a seven by seven square. And the reason I did that is so I can use eight inch pieces of PETG and 
when you get a two by four sheet, you can get 19 pieces out of that two by four sheet. I think that's what it is, 18 pieces, not 19. Um, so that's what I did here. And basically just, I, I went on YouTube, watched a bunch of videos. I simply cut out the two squares, top and bottom, made the box out of the one by fours. I did, did use wood glue on everything to make sure that it was nice and sealed. Um, and then just, you know, screwed everything together pretty straightforward um i really didn't think a pattern on the holes was a big deal so i just took my drill bit and and drill and just went absolutely crazy with all that stuff and then the spacers on the side are just one by fours cut down so uh there's one that's the same width as the one by four and there's another one that i went longer and these are just guides for the um this thing, the plastic holder. Now, if I was lenses, the only thing that I would change on this box is I would make the, the guides a lot higher because those tips, when you're putting them on here, I was using um, two risers. So I was using this riser and this riser, sorry, that riser. And then you'd have the, the mold or the plug sitting up about this high, which is about four inches higher than the guide. So. Uh, but it worked out fine, no big deal. And so that's the box. This hole, my vacuum fit in there perfect. I can't remember what hole size it was, but it was just the right size. So that's it. And then all I did was cut out a, another piece of MDF that was about half inch bigger. So it ended up being um, about eight inches all the way around. And that's what I clamp it on with. So when you put this together, it looks like that. Now, usually these silver things are all facing outwards and your plastics on the inside, but that's how it went together and it worked really, really well. If you guys saw the video, it was obviously you're on here because you saw the video, but uh, it worked really, really well. It was a lot easier than I thought it was and really cost me absolutely nothing to make it uh, other than buying the plastic. The 040 material was uh, about $35, that's Canadian. so. If you're in the US, it's probably less. Um, and the 060 material was um, about $65. I think it was $105 for both pieces, a two by four piece. So that's the vacuum former guys. One little quick note here for you. If you have not heard, um, skycandylandinglights.com, the discount code uh, is all in capitals, lighter side. If you use that discount code, you have 15% off on their website, and that is good till January 1st, 2021, till midnight. So you guys have roughly around a week left to use that, so feel free to use that. Please do. Um, I, I'm really, really stoked with Sky Candy Landing Lights. Obviously, you guys have seen the video. They are phenomenal, and I am really impressed with the, the lights on that, that diamond back there. So I'm really excited to fly that thing. And uh, if the snow would ever stop outside, I would probably put it in the driveway and, and turn it on in the dark because I think it would look really cool. So, so that's it, guys. Um, I know you guys are waiting for the Sky Candy Landing Light giveaway. So this is the same set that we did, um, when was that? Maybe about a month ago or so. This is a one-inch set of landing lights. There's a digital switch in the package here. And it's very, very simple to hook up. The key with these lights, guys, is 4.8 volts only. More voltage, you can go up to six. More voltage will not make these things brighter. So just keep that in mind. And uh, obviously, you saw in the diamond, they, they, it's more than enough. So, um, so that's it. So if you guys don't have any further questions or anything that you want me to touch on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you inside my house into my office because um, I can't do this. The, the draw on my comp on my wife's laptop uh, and be on alive at the same time. So let's go for a little walk in my house. If you guys got anything really cool for Christmas, throw it in the comments because I want to hear about it. I know Chad, who's watching right now, he uh, he placed an order for some really really special items, and I think you guys will be seeing that stuff in a build series very soon. So let's see, you know, you guys can see it. There we go. Okay. So this is all automated. 
So we go to here, pick a winner. There we go. So hopefully you guys can see that. Awesome. So we're going to choose from all the comments. Now there's been some people that have said if they win, please pick somebody else. I can't see your comments when this pops up. So if I do pick somebody and you and you you don't need the light set, you're too far away, you don't want the light set. Um, obviously you have to reach out to me because I have no way to contact you guys. Um, so whoever the winner is, you'll have to contact me and through Facebook or on YouTube or whatever, throw it in the comments and we'll make sure you get your light set. So, okay, choose from all comments, pick a winner. Wreck-It Robs RC, that's cool. You're a regular viewer on the channel, that's awesome. So there we go. What I'll do is I'm going to, uh, to leave that up and I'm gonna click on your name and try and contact you. I think I've seen you on Facebook, but if not, I will send you a message through, uh, through YouTube as well, so. So that is basically it, guys. Mike, you missed getting in the draw. That sucks, man. Um, cool. Oh, yeah, wreck it Robs is watching. That's awesome. Congratulations. So shoot me a, 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 a what's that old-fashioned thing called? An email, thelightersideofrc.com at gmail.com, and we'll make sure we get you your, your light set. That's super cool. And... If you guys are the winner, so Wreck It Robs RC, I'd love to see some pictures uh, or video. Let's do a collaboration or whatever you want to do uh, of what these lights go into because I think it's super cool for other people to see it, whether it's pictures or or a small video clip or whatever you guys uh, whatever you guys figure out. So um, that is basically it, guys. Congratulations! Thanks so much for tuning in and supporting the channel. Uh, the smoke video, the smoke system install video, which is the last one in the diamond series other than the flights. That's going to come out tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So keep an eye out for that, guys. And uh, basically, I just covered the, the smoke system install. Um, we What I did was I hooked the pump up um, separately. And so the pump is just running. And I show you guys how to do a, um, uh, um, a mix to your throttle channel so you get more smoke at full throttle, things like that. So... If you guys uh, want to check it out, 8 o'clock Mountain Time tomorrow morning. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow morning in the next video. Merry Christmas again. Happy New Year. Feliz Navidad. Happy Hanukkah. Happy whatever you celebrate. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.